Call up uh, Paul Amendment 4. I would like to offer a uh, second degree amendment to uh, Paul Amendment 4. So while I agree uh, with Ranking Member Paul's intention to ensure that government entities of the People's Republic of China do not receive federal funds from the United States, uh, this amendment could have serious uh, unintended uh, consequences. This amendment is not targeted enough to deal with legitimate national security and economic security issues between America and the Chinese government, which uh, have been and certainly remain critical areas of bipartisan support on this committee. And I look forward to working with uh, members of this committee on both sides of the aisle to find ways to hold China accountable uh, and protect American uh, interest. My second degree amendment narrows the Paul Amendment by specifying that no entities in China are eligible to be a recipient or sub-recipient from the grant programs reauthorized in this bill. And I would urge my colleagues to join me in supporting this second degree amendment and the underlying bill. As I understand your Senator, Senator uh, Paul, your second degree amendment, you've said uh, that you're narrowing it to uh, that the grants in this bill would not fund grant, uh, NIH grants or any other uh, grants in China. You're saying the grant money in this bill? The grants from this bill, right. Well, they don't. I mean, so that doesn't make any sense. You're saying that the fire grants would not... No entities in China are eligible uh, for the grants uh, authorized in this bill. Right. Well, it doesn't make any sense because none of the grant money in this bill was going to NIH. So basically it's a nonsensical second-degree amendment. But basically we're doing this again, and this is sort of the legislative ledger domain to sort of obscure the fact and, and to try to not vote directly on this. But this is whether or not you want money... Uh, to go from NIH to uh, China and to fund gain-of-function research. We've actually discovered, and this was uh, came out of uh, intelligence report, unclassified report in November of this year, and this is extraordinary, that NIH money was not only going through EcoHealth Alliance to the tune of about $100 million being funneled to them and then millions of that being funneled to Wuhan, but we also have discovered that American universities are subgranting NIH money to military research in China. So the initial argument was that, um, well, we're just doing civilian research over there, and Dr. Fauci and others said, oh, there's nothing wrong with this, you know, this civilian research, and it's really not gain of function, although it might be. But it's worse than that. We found that UC Davis, uh, Galveston, other, other of these universities are getting NIH grants, and then they're subcontracting them to military researchers. These are researchers that don't go by doctor. They go by general. They go by colonel, particularly in the People's Liberation Army. So this is a real problem. And the reason we bring up these amendments on the fire bill, you say, why are you bringing this up on the fire bill? Because we've had no hearings. We haven't had one hearing on this. The other side does not seem to care that probably half the scientific community now thinks this came from the lab. We've done nothing, no hearings on it. But we don't seem to care that we may well have funded this. One of my records requests that I still haven't gotten any Democrat to sign on to, including the chairman, we want to know whether uh, DARPA in our Defense Department or DITRA, DTRA, Defense Threat Reduction Agency, whether they've been funding uh, military research in China, whether they've been funding gain-of-function research in China that could have led to this outbreak. These are routine government things. We happen to now know that DARPA was asked by the Wuhan Institute of Virology for money to take a coronavirus and insert a furin cleavage site into that coronavirus to make it more transmissible and more infectious for humans. We know that that happened. Why do we know? Not because any Democrat chairman have, asked, uh, have helped us. A whistleblower from somewhere in the government released that grant. It's a grant proposal. Why in the world we can't see grant proposals? Why we can't see unredacted stuff from HHS? It's not even classified stuff. They're refusing to give us unclassified stuff. So we put forth these amendments, but the response we get is legislative ledger domain. Let's try to hide this so we don't have to appear publicly to be voting against this. Let's vote on a secondary issue so we can try to obscure the fact that 
we're still in favor of funding Wuhan. We're still in favor of sending money to Wuhan. This administration has allowed the continuation of this. Eco Health Alliance, who by all sort of estimations have done uh, clearly illegitimate things and really should be forbidden from getting NIH money, just got more NIH money recently. So the thing is, is we've done absolutely nothing. A million Americans died. We've done no hearings on this, not one hearing, and we have gotten no help with getting records. The only records we have from our own government have come from Freedom of Information Act. That's where a federal judge forces our country. We rightly are critical of the Chinese for being opaque and for obscuring the origins and not giving us the early samples of the virus, and yet our own government won't. And so it leads to suspicions, were we funding all of this? Did we fund the actual origins of the virus? And maybe they don't want us to see the records because we actually funded the origins of this. We should want to do better. And I'm disappointed that at every turn, what we get is complete and entirely united opposition to this. Since fiscal year 2019, the NIH awarded more than 13 million to recipients in China. In fact, everything we've learned since the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic, we're still actively funding research in China. Today, I'm offering this amendment to place important guardrails on the federal government's use of taxpayer dollars. For too long, entities like the NIH have placed their trust in the Chinese government, which is openly hostile to American freedoms and democracy. It's time we stop sending American tax dollars to an adversary that has shown time and time again it, is not, it does not have our best interests in mind. I hope all the members of the committee will support this common sense amendment. Thank you, Senator Paul. And as I've stated uh, in the past and will continue to say, we, we will work with you on the issues uh, that you have raised. Uh, but this, uh, this bill before us is firefighting grants to support firefighters here in the United States. This amendment just narrows the amendment to make sure that entities in China are not eligible to be a recipient or sub-recipient of the grants that are actually provided in this particular uh, bill. We will now proceed to the consideration of the Peter Second Degree Amendment to Paul Amendment 4 to S559. Clerk will call the roll. Senator Carper. Carper is a yes uh, by proxy. Senator Hassan. Aye. Senator Sinema. Aye. Senator Rosen. Aye. Senator Padilla. Aye. Senator Ossoff. Senator Blumenthal. Aye. Senator Paul. No. Senator Johnson. No by proxy. Senator Langford. Senator Romney. No by proxy. Senator Scott. No by proxy. Senator Hawley. No. Senator Marshall. No by proxy. Senator Peters. Aye. Mr. Chairman, on the vote of those present, the yeas are seven, the nays are three. On the vote by proxy, the yeas are one, the nays are four. On this vote, the yeas are eight, the nays are seven, and the amendment is agreed to. Majority of members uh, having uh, voted uh, in the affirmative, the second degree amendment uh, is, uh, is agreed to. I'd like the Peter's second degree amendment to Paul amendment uh, is uh, adopted. Um, I'd like to. And, no, and uh, there, there's no further debate on Paul amendment four. The question is on the adoption as modified by the Peter Second Degree Amendment. All those in favor will say aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Majority of members having voted in the affirmative, the amendment uh, is uh, agreed to.